Hey, it's Chuck from Street Rag Garage. Today I'll be selling off my 1970 GMC half ton pickup truck here. It's time to make room and get some money for some other projects we got going on. So the old shop truck has got to go. Actually, I just bought this for my birthday uh, and I was going to use it as a shop truck. And that never happened. So it's time to move on. We'll get another shop truck later. But now we can use the funds for some other projects. So let's have a quick look and see what we have here. This is a pretty basic truck. It has a Chevy 350 engine in it. It has a three-speed manual on the tree. So uh, it's got three on a tree, so that's a that's a little bit tricky if you've never done that before. But overall it's in it's in fair shape. It's got what we like to call patina or you know, rust. But Besides that, not bad. It runs and drives really good. I've driven it about an hour and a half, you know, one direction without any issues. It has some rust holes. It's got some rust there in the bed. It's got rocker rust on it. You can see there's a dent in the door. There's a little rust on the fender. So it's got a, it's got a pretty nice set of tires on it. They're only about a year old and probably only have about maybe 500-ish miles on it. Uh, it's got a brand new bumper on it, if that counts for anything. It has a little, little trim issue there. It needs a new clip. Uh, the grill's in fair shape. It's got some rust down there at the bottom, as you can see. Solid hood. This fender is in, it's in pretty good shape. There's a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of rust right there in the very corner of it. Uh, this door has a little rust right there on the corner of it. The rocker's on this side, cab corner on this side, rust there. Yeah, it's it's a Midwest truck. Just a little bit of a ding right in that area. Uh, I'll check the bed out real quick. So yeah, it's got uh, got some holes there in the bed, right there, right there, right there. But yeah, this is this is just gonna be somebody's shop truck. Not going to be a real show truck, unless uh, Patina's what you're into. Uh, let's have a look on the inside real quick. So this is the top of the rockers. The top's fine, it's just the bottoms, but I'm going to replace it, replace the whole thing. Or just leave it alone and drive it. Uh, the interior is in fair shape. I haven't even looked underneath this uh, seat cover. I'm sure there's a seat cover on it for some reason. But door panels are in fair shape. Hardware is all there. This is manual brakes as well. Pretty much no power or anything. Manual brakes, manual steering. Again, three on the tree. It has a little toggle switch here that controls the fan. Uh, the heat does work on it just fine. The door shut pretty solid. Let's have a peek underneath the hood real quick. So, pretty standard 350, has uh, some headers, still has a two barrel carburetor on it. This is not the uh, correct radiator, obviously, because uh, you can see it's much taller and they had to make some little standoffs for the radiator support. You could really use a fan shroud on there. But it doesn't get hot. Of course, it is, uh, it is fall here in Indiana, so it's not that hot outside. Um, but yeah, I mean it shifts. It runs really good. Nothing wrong with that part of it. Let's give it a little startup. See what she sounds like. got a uh, bill exhaust with some sort of, uh, I don't know, cherry bombish type muffler on it. It doesn't go all the way back. We can look under here. Uh, it still is right there. That's about behind the cab. Looking small. Small mufflers on it. Coming right off the headers. 
So, sounds good though. The engine runs nice and smooth. Just sits there and purrs all day long. No ticks, no knocks, none of that stuff. It is a good running, good sounding engine. a good all-around truck that you can drive every day just hit me up I'll be selling this for $3,500 send me a message <laughs>